There's a secret setting in Modern Warfare called Dead Zone. It came out about a month ago, and I had no idea because honestly, who checks their settings? Not a lot of people, once they start playing the game, they check their settings. At least I don't. Your joystick can only move a certain distance until it starts moving. That is a dead zone. If you don't know much about it, look into it, I guess. But as you can, you can read it right there. This thing is actually incredible. Because if you put it, if you put it at zero, you will literally, your character will start moving or looking in a different direction faster than someone with a larger dead zone. And then I think the normal setting is point five or whatever, point zero five or something like that. I put it at zero. And it's definitely weird and you gotta get used to it, but it's definitely better than having it at 0.5 and like, and you just have more control over your weapons. Comment down below if you guys knew about this, because I had no idea, and it came out like a month ago, so. Oh my. Of course a Claymore. So, in with some random news, it turns out that Black Ops 2 has like no modders basically. When theater mode isn't working, and when it is working, there's tons of modders and whatever. And that could be the reason that we don't have theater mode in most modern Call of Duties. Because I, I, I love theater mode, and theater mode's amazing, but it's definitely not something I would rather have than like having the game like totally like modded. But I still can't help but wish that it was still in, the, in Call of Duty, you know? Maybe if they got a better anti-shoot or whatever, then we could have theater mode and have no modders, I don't know. But I know you OG players love theater mode, love messing around with that. I remember back in the day watching like funny videos with theater mode and it's, it's, it's very nostalgic and I wish they would bring it back. I knew that guy was there, oh my gosh dude. Way too close for comfort. Got him. Of course, they're just camping in their spawn. This is this is why I hate Call, call of Duty Modern Warfare maps. They just sit here. The game was almost over, dude. So that's why I was playing a little more rushy. Now, guys, it ha it has been leaked that the Call of Duty 2020 reveal trailer will happen. Like, so it has something to do with Warzone. I'm not- we're not too sure what that is. We don't know if the stadium's gonna open up and we can actually, like, watch the trailer in there or something. I don't know. It's definitely gonna be a live event, though. And then the trailer's gonna drop or something. But that's why the reveal trailer is supposedly... ...taking so long. Run. I'm telling you guys, this no dead zone thing is actually really nice. Like, it definitely takes a bit to get used to it, so when you turn it off, it definitely like, feels weird, but I swear it's, like, so much more... What's the word? I swear I'm so much more consistent now, if that makes sense. We're not gonna get the trailer until Warzone picks up, steps up their game, and tells us the story they're telling. I don't know. Um... I don't know when he got behind me. <laughs> I think he was- Damn it, dude! I think he was trying to do a, an execution, but it just didn't work out for him. But knowing about this leak about Call of Duty 2020 not being revealed in until, like, Warzone picks up, because it's, it's tied with it in some way. Although it's just a leak, that makes me have hope that it's not as delayed as we think it is, which is awesome. I definitely don't want this Call of Duty to be like super behind in development because you know Activision is still going to release it anyway. And so I would just really hope that it's not as bad as we think it is. I'm s guys, I don't know what the hell I- how, What? That guy's probably mad. I just- I didn't know if I could see his foot feet, but I just wanted to chance it, and I did. <laughs> that, my friend, is a thousand IQ right there. Okay. Okay, the, the score is 69-69, dude. This is actually a really close match. 
Say hi to your camper. Let's go, dude. That's what happens, dude. That was such a close match. But guys, that's gonna be it, dude. It's just weird. I never thought that you would be able to change your dead zone. Because I always thought it was like part of the controller, and it is. But you can you can edit it now in game. I think Fortnite also has a setting like that now. It's insane. You know, Modern Warfare definitely has the most settings in any Call of Duty, and I really hope that bring that back bring that back for Call of Duty 2020. Because being able to adjust your dead zone is so nice. <laughs> you can go up to 40%, which I don't like think you should do i'm gonna keep it at zero trying to get used to zero i'm sure that some people think having a 0.1 0.2 or whatever is good just so having more of a dead zone makes it to where it's there's less room for air but at the same time it's not as fast so i just want to practice with the zero and to see if i can make it really good i don't know but anyway guys that's gonna be it dude season four is actually not looking too bad i i don't think it's good but it's not too bad i think so far Obviously, I want shipment back, but it's probably not gonna happen for a bit. But it is what it is. Hope you enjoy your day as much as possible. Peace.